Hello, welcome to Carly ASMR. I am Carly. Halloween is fast approaching, and I thought it would be time to give some pumpkin carving a go. I have this amazing pumpkin. perfect size, the perfect shape. It hasn't even got very many marks on it, just one or two. So I am going to get my stencil ready. I actually had big plans for this pumpkin, but as I, I've only carved about three pumpkins in my life, I thought maybe I'd better stick to something a little bit more traditional. So, I'll show you the design I was going to choose. I initially thought I could do this one. It looks so great on the internet. <laughs> and earlier on I was thinking, yeah, I can do that, no worries. And now, <laughs> I'm actually thinking, I could be here all night and it might all go horribly, horribly wrong. So I've decided to go with something a little more doable for a novice, a newbie. A bit of a Cheshire cat type pumpkin. So I'm going to maybe take off the hat so that it doesn't get in the way and get started drawing my so here is our pumpkin. I think I was really lucky to get such a perfect shape. One way I was told you could do it was to get some pins, attach the stencil to the front of the pumpkin. So, I'll try that. Not sure if that's the way to go. In fact, I'm pretty sure the way to go is to put an apron on. <laughs> gonna get very messy. Okay, so I'm just going to decide where I want it. I feel like a dressmaker. So that's cool. What I might do is I have a bowl here so that I can angle it correctly and make it easier for myself and just roughly make some pin pricks. It's a little bit, a little bit rough and ready. noisy really isn't it but that's pretty much my outline take the paper off and hope we have
and we have a very weepy pumpkin. Poor little weepy pumpkin. Let's just wipe him off. Him or her. Let's see if we can see where those shapes are. Nope. <laughs> I can't really. Let's freehand it. This could go very badly. After all that effort with the pins, I can't see any of the little holes. Maybe I shouldn't have wiped it off, but it's okay. Let's just keep going. Okay, so we're going to start with the top. And since I don't do this often, I don't have a proper pumpkin cutter carver, but I'm just going to do a rough outline of a top. So the trick with the top of the pumpkin, I do know this much, is to cut at an angle. Look at me stabbing like this, professional pumpkin killer. Because if you go straight down into the pumpkin, when you put the, the lid back in, it'll just fall straight through the bottom. Feeling good. And the last one. Oh, check that. That's perfect. Amazing. Look at that shape. Beautiful shape. Messy, messy, messy. Okay, I have a bowl here for my pumpkin goop, which I will bring around here like this so I can just drop it in. So we're going to start by just taking the muck out of the middle. And also the trick with this is to take just a little of the outer edge off, I think, to let some of the light shine through when you have the light in there. I'm just literally taking a tiny little bit off the top. inside out. Okay, ice cream scoop. 
I'm hoping that's going to be a little bit more effective than just a spoon. Because it's hard work. That's why I don't do it often, because it's just hard work. This seems to be doing a great job. Anybody eat pumpkin? <laughs> I like butternut squash, which is like a type of pumpkin, obviously, but I really don't like the texture of normal pumpkins. I think it's a childhood haunted memory. <laughs> Here is our pumpkin. I hope this isn't going to be too hard to cut, it looks a bit small. Let's take the coop out of the way. I'm going to try it with um, a, a little knife here to hopefully give me some more control. satisfying little click. Right, let's try here now.
Be a little bit more careful around this top one because it's not so thick. Well, oh, it's nice. Okay, so for this crescent shape, I want my fancy flick blade. Okay, so I think I can neaten that up in a minute. We're getting there, aren't we? Okay, let's keep going. I'm liking the way these teeth are falling out. Nice and solid. I'll do the whiskers last. Let's clean up all of the bits. All of the messy bits on the inside as well. We're gonna get here and we can take a little bit out of the skin. Just a touch, because there's not much in places. I'm flicking pumpkin all over the kitchen. That's okay. Clean it up tomorrow. <laughs> Anybody going out trick or treating? Yeah? I don't know if I will this year. I think I might just stay indoors and answer the door. That looks good. I think that one's looking pretty finished. Nothing left on this nose and nothing really left here either. So just gotta take the slitherest of slitherists. It's not even a word. about something too much, you end up passing the point of saving it and losing it and ruining it.
Tooth. I did call you a snaggle tooth earlier, didn't I? Whiskers, whiskers, whiskers. We're definitely not fitting three whiskers in this area, are we? No, we are not. Let's just do two. It's a shame. Can I clean that off? I wonder if I can get that off. One more. Let's risk one more. Just looks like a mustache. Oh, well. Yeah, that just looks like a mustache. <laughs> you got a tash? Let's do one more, see if we can get it to look a less like a mustache. Or maybe I will exacerbate the error. Heighten the mistake. I think it looks 
Okay. Last touches. Ooh, be careful, Carly. You're cutting it close there. I'm not the only one that talks to myself, right? Handed in my confidence. <laughs> yeah, it'll be all right. Just chop it off. And then when you go to put it, the lid on doesn't fit. <laughs> okay. some little tea lights because I think the other candle I've got is going to be too big but maybe the tea lights will be too small. Let's try. I have I've got three little tea lights here. I'm going to try. I've got a pumpkin hanging from my hair. I'm going to try lighting a couple of these. Pop them in the bottom. Let's make it sit, sit straight. Okay. Maybe what I'll do this time is turn the bowl up for a bit more height. There we go. Uh, so that's going to be a better height. Okay, so safer too for the candles. My extra long matches.
or before the match dies, which it's about to do. And the last one. This is the awkward part, putting the candle in without getting your hand burned. Good. So, ta-da, all finished. I'll gently try and show. I might actually turn off the light. Spooky does it, it's actually quite a friendly looking pumpkin. Nice. Well, thank you so much for joining me and watching me carve this pumpkin. Let's put the lights back on. <laughs> so this is my pumpkin, he's all finished. I think he looks pretty great. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you have a fantastic Halloween and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.